Hi, welcome to the Launchbox video. This one we're going to show you some decent, really modern arcade games, if we can. So I've just been doing it for the last few hours and trying to work it all out. I think I've pretty much got it, and it'll work well with Launchbox. Uh, that's a theory anyway. Right, so let's get started. Uh, right, first of all, you're going to have to download Technoparrot. Technoparrot is something that uh, is going to be needed for this system. This is what Technoparrot looks like. There it is. Now this will be the background emulator that will run in Launchbox. So you just need to download it. Download the bootstrap version. That's all you need to do. And then that will come. Once you've got that, find your Launchbox where you keep it. Emulators. Mine's on an external. Techno Parrot. There's that bootstrap. Undone. Ignore that file. That's the what you get in the folder. So what you have to do is open that straight away. It will ask you, would you like to install uh, a game, etc. Just click yes, and it'll get you to this screen. Once you click there, do your updates. It'll say updates with a marker on. Just click it. There's two updates to do with a very small. Do it once you've done that. Uh, then start adding your games. I can't tell you where to get the games from, uh, but I think you pretty much know where you can Google uh, Techno Parrot ROMs from. Once you've got that, you, you can just put them in. What all I did is, once you're in the folder, create a folder inside there called Techno Parrot. Once you've done that, everything goes in there because it'll ask you to install it in. Uh, I do a full custom installation and it takes a, about two minutes and it's done. Uh, I created a second folder there called ROMs of my own doing and I put all my games in there. Uh, just That's just so you can use them as a standalone emulator, but you will have to create that nevertheless anyway because the games you'll use on Launchbox will be in there. That's where you'll get them from uh, on the user profile. So let's keep pushing on. Right, so we don't need that anymore. So we can close that down. Oh no, we still do need to do things because you need to configure your controllers, etc., with these games. So you can use them straight off the Launchbox with the bat. So just example, all I did was say Daytona Championship 3 which never played it before until now, didn't even know it existed. Uh, and I love Daytona, so what you need to do is click there, Game Settings, uh, change it to X input if you've got a controller, uh, and that's it. And obviously you need to click into the box there uh, and find where it is you're keeping the EXE. Now there is the launcher, so oh, let's go back out of there. Daytona, there, click Daytona, and there. That's the EXE. Just click that and you're fine and that'll go into there once you click that save settings and then click back that's all you need to change there then you'll need to go to controller set it up exactly like that i'm using an xbox one pad so all i've done is click the start button and start uh, the left and right bumper buttons i've just put up and down gear uh view change at a x a b x y uh and we're steering analog stick left I've done there and right trigger and left trigger is gas and brake once you've done that click save setting and that's done just do that with every single game the only one that's a problematic game and there is a fix for it you have to download from the Technoparrot site uh, is that one outrun 2 it's a bit tricky it needs something called a folder I think it's there I've got both of them there but you can get them from the Technoparrot site where you get the emulator you just click on Intel or AMD uh, on each game. So uh, it's called it's called for the Intel. I run an Intel system. I've got a 12th generation uh, i7. Uh, so I'm running I'm running that. What you need to do is it will ask you when you got it. I'll just show you the actual game. Just sidetrack for a second so you know what you're actually looking for. When you've got it in Outrun, go to the Outrun 2. You will, it's only a small folder you download from there. It goes in disk zero, uh, and you'll see a Jennifer. That's the name of the setup for it. That's Sega's thing. Once you go in there, there's a, once you put your patch in there, it's called Jennifer Patched. It works for AMD and Intel, and that's what you're looking for on your EXE, uh, which is on there when you set it all up. So click game settings and look for the Jennifer in there. X input for your joypad, enable the fix, uh, free play, I don't want it windowed, uh, them settings are all as normal, 
click save back and then controller set your controller up as you want it back click save and then back uh, and so on and so on I'll let you finish that bit on your own but you've got to put them in there first and set all of that uh, to do that and there are some other advice out there and help with this system it's great helps I've got to give somebody called Darnell HD on YouTube a great shout out he's done some pretty good stuff on this so I will check him out I've just kind of played around with a little few things that he's done so I'm not trying to steal his work he gets the credit uh, but no I wanted to put this into launch box so there we go so we can we can close that now we don't need that now so what you need to do is once you've got that all in there it's all in your in your launch box wherever you keep your launch box the games are there so what you need to do to put it into your launch box now uh, is a tricky process so stop and slow this down and move backwards as you need it uh, so all I did is add an emulator as you normally would click manage emulator in the box there I clicked add because you'll see mine here somewhere Techno Parrot there you go so that's all I did is click add and then typed in I'll click edit for the sake of it I just typed in Techno Parrot that's it found the exe which is dead straightforward to find it's in the folder ba bum 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 there it is there once you've got that it'll go in there you don't really need such anything else there associated platforms there is a small thing with this system it can it's classed as a sega lindbergh yellow system and also a sega ring edge system uh, so it's between the two of them i've just used the word lindbergh it could be ring edge uh, so click default emulator there is a, a script uh, for you to put in there for exiting if you want to use your escape key that's it there if you want to pause it on screen by all means now pause it and then copy that it's not a difficult process I will put it up on the screen somewhere else I'm sure before I quit this uh, so once you've done that click that's pretty much everything that you need to do so once you've done that click OK well and all close whichever you need brings you to putting in the games it's just a shame I can't tell you where to get the games but they are out there on Google remember just type in techno pirate ROMs and you will find them on the internet no problem and it's a great feature to throw into the launch box really up soups up your launch box a bit uh, right there we go so what we do is to add the games import ROM files as do this as if you're doing it for each and every game so click next add file so what you need to do is remember what I said to you before in your in your technoparrot folder I'll show you again so there you go on the outside into it roll down to the bottom find user profiles and that's where you've put your games in there and once you've installed them set the controls up so what you need to do is click say uh, I don't know say uh, say Star Wars uh, click open I'm not going to go all the way because as you can see it's all in mine I don't want to mess my system up so that's all you need to do is move it to next you can put a few more in there I've done it as Sega Lindbergh you can change it to Sega Ring Edge if you like your choice scrape it click the default platforms scrape it as arcade and just click next Tetra Parrot is your emulator click next leave them as they are where you put them search for uh, local metadata database click next then you'll obviously have to select what you want off here click next uh, obviously MU movies I highly recommend that it's a free site it's a free register setup thing get the best covers well worth it click next make sure you tick all of these boxes are ticked would you like to add any custom options don't tick any of them nothing and then click next and then your game title will be in there exactly the same way it happens with a with a, an Xbox one classic or a PlayStation 3 when it comes up as bin you'll have to change that to exactly the same name as the game which all I did was the same name there I copied right click there rename copy there and I just pasted it into into there when it's in there 
it'll say something like X out XP, whatever it is. Just change it to Star Wars Battle Pod and click finish, and that's your lot. I promise you, it's not a difficult process that bit, it's just going through it. You'll probably have to watch this video a few times just to get it like I did. Uh, what else is there to tell you? Uh, oh, there is one more thing to do. Before you start any games with Launchbox, what you'll have to do is click on each one, right click, edit, edit metadata media. Now this is what you need to do here. Click launching. You see this here, starwars.xml. If you like, copy it, because you're gonna need this, it's important. That bit there. And then what you do is move down to emulation it should be already in there, Tech the Parrot, once you've already sorted, click, you need to tick the box, use custom command line parameter. Now what you need to put in there is dash, dash, which is next to your number zero key on the keyboard. So two dashes, profile, then an equal sign, and then paste that off each game, which will be for this one, starwars.xml from that launching there. You need to do that for every single game. Bit tedious, but it's well worth it in the end. Once you've done that, click OK, and you're good. Uh, and once you've done that, it'll start. You'll have searched all your data, your level, your pictures like I've got here, and then you just click on a game. Uh, let's see. Let's click on one. Uh, uh, what am I dying to play? Uh, oh, this this could be interesting. Uh, Outrun with the fix. I haven't tried it with the fix yet, but it's a straightforward thing. So let's double click it and let's see what happens. With Techno Parrot, there it goes. It's a little. Techno Parrot's like Naomi, it just takes a little bit to load the system in. So don't go rushing thing and it's not worked. But I promise you it will work. Just let it do its thing for a, couple, for a little bit. As you can see, it's doing its thing. I will we'll start the game just to let you know, see how it's worked. I might even start a second game. Click start. And once I've got it, I obviously didn't configure it on me. <laughs>
quit that for a second. There we go. So yeah, I think I think it's pretty much as straightforward as that. So I'll leave you to it. And any questions, any comments, please ask and below. Uh, like and subscribe. We obviously all need that as a community. Uh, and I hope you enjoy it. And you're playing all of the uh, Ring Ring Edge Limburg games too, like I'll be doing. Thank you. Take care. Bye.